Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here. It's fall around here, fruits on the tree. It's a great time for barbecues. And those stupid wasps are all over everything. Well, let me give you a tip on how to greatly control their numbers. Stay tuned. Well, as you can see, it is a beautiful day out. And I was working in my orchard and harvesting peaches, and there were wasps all over bird damaged ones or ones that have been split. I mean, hundreds of them. Fortunately, I didn't get stung. Sometimes you do. Well, who wants that kind of stuff? Well, there is a secret that you can use that is really simple to greatly reduce their numbers. But before I show you that secret, you've got to get in the mind of the wasp and understand what the wasp is doing. And therefore, that'll greatly help you understand how to control them. Well, earlier in the year, early spring, they are building brood. They are raising the next generation. They need a lot of protein to do that. So that's why they come around and bug you at your barbecue. And they're always trying to get a hunk of hamburger or a piece of chicken or whatever it is. Later on in the season now, they're really in the mood for carbs. And so they're pumping up energy and they are taking in sugar anywhere they can. Broken pieces of fruit, that open can of soda, uh, that, that piece of cake you've got out there, whatever it is, that's what's in their mind. So the number one trick to controlling wasps, and you'll never eliminate them because they are all over the place. And if you get them on your property um, and you get them all eliminated, what about the neighbors? But you can greatly control them. The first thing you gotta do is go where the wasps are in great numbers. So if you find a lot of them clustering on uh, a piece of fruit or they are stripping off grapes, I've literally seen thousands on a busted up section of grapes where I was able to kill a thousand or more in one setting without getting stung up close. So first thing, go where they are. In the daytime, they're gonna go congregate where it's sweet and you can take out a large number. Just reducing their numbers greatly helps reduce the amount of pestiness that they exhibit. Second thing is, in the evening, they're gonna be back at their nest. They cannot see well and they don't have the vision that you and I do in the dark, so they really have to get back to their nest to be safe. And so you need to go there in the evening and you can knock them down with this secret weapon. You don't even have to go down and buy that spray if you don't like to, uh, or chemicals. You can just use something straight out of the household. What is it? Well, here it is. Soap. Now, I'm just using palm olive but it can be Dawn or your favorite dishwasher, whatever it might be, liquid dishwashing soap like this in a spray container like this does the trick. I actually prefer, although I don't have any right now, so I didn't have it for this filming, I like car wash soap because it's a little stickier, thicker, and I like to cut the soap about 50-50. So when we go to fill up this spray container, I'm gonna just add water to about right here, mildly shake it so I have a very thick, soapy solution. Then we're gonna spray it directly on the wasp and I'm gonna let you make a decision of whether or not it really works. But how does it work? Well, it's simple. Wasps don't breathe through their mouth or nose like you and I, humans do, and many other mammals do. They actually respirate through the surface of their bodies. And if you coat that body, with an oily substance or soap, it actually suffocates them, they very quickly drop. You'll see in just a moment when I spray these wasps, but you can get right up beside them. They couldn't care less about you or me. They're just in a feeding frenzy and that's what they're paying attention to. Well, as you can see here, with this piece of fruit that's fallen on the ground, the wasp are really going at it. And I have seen entire pieces of fruit covered where there are literally hundreds of wasps. I don't have that to demonstrate to you, but I do have this. Well, let's take a look at this soapy water solution. As you can see, I've cut it with water here. We've got an industrial sprayer. We're gonna go ahead and prime it. And let's go ahead and put it to a spray. Okay. There it is, we got a spray. Let's look and see what happens when we put them on the wasp. Notice that they're not flying. They are now coated with, with soap. It's covered their bodies. 
and therefore they cannot breathe. Right now they are suffocating and they will drop. You can literally take out thousands of them this way. Now this is another example. There's several of them all over the place on different pieces of fallen fruit here. What you're really looking for is them balling a piece of fruit where there's literally hundreds of them on there. But again, I want to just show you the example of how quickly the knockdown power is. And you can see on the other side of the, that area right over there, there's several wasps right there. And as you can see, they don't really pay much attention to me because they're very interested and they're just engorging themselves. So, and there's several of them all over, but we're just gonna coat this whole thing down real quick and uh, go from there. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, and then you can just walk away. Well, now you know just a super simple secret of how to greatly control those wasps using household items, plain soapy water. You don't even have to go down and buy any chemicals. How cool is that? Hey, if you found this video to be helpful, won't you like it? And better yet, won't you subscribe to our channel and ring the bell as well so anytime that we put out a new video, you know about it right away. Thanks for being a part of our viewer family. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.